friends, welcome back to Discovery at Library. Today, we're gonna be having some fun with some Play-Doh and paper rolls. So we're gonna explore using paper rolls in our Play-Doh to make designs. So all you need for this activity is, of course, your Play-Doh, and you'll also need your paper rolls. So you can either use a toilet paper roll or a paper towel roll, either one will work. And then you will also need some scissors, and then a hot glue gun. And make sure you ask a guardian to help you with the hot glue because it can be kind of tricky to use. And then either get a piece of paper, a tray, or a piece of cardboard like I have to protect your surface that you're going to be doing this activity on. That way you don't get Play-Doh all over your table. You can put it on this cardboard. All right, let's get started. Okay, so the first step that we want to do is we want to add our designs with our glue to one of our rolls. I'm gonna save one of ours for another exploration. So for this one, I'm just gonna flip it on its side like this, and I wanna add some designs with my hot glue so I can just kind of roll it over my Play-Doh and the designs will come out. So I'm going to use my hot glue here and I'm just going to make some designs on this. And I wanna make sure they really stick off from the paper roll so we can see them and they can make a nice kind of stamp and imprint into our play-doh so i'm just going to kind of make a circle here first it takes just a little bit to dry it's pretty fast but it'll take a little time i'm gonna grab another hot glue stick All right, so my hot glue has dried. So here's all my designs. I got some squiggles here, some dots, and I wrote KCDC here for the Kansas Children's Discovery Center. And then I got, oh, it's upside down. <laughs> I got a smiley face, a heart, and then just a little dot. That was my first little test right here. And then I tried to make a star on either side. So yeah, I've got quite a bit on my roll here. So I'm excited to try this out in my Play-Doh. So I've got this and it's really neat because, you know, everything you put on top of this, whatever's sticking out from the paper roll, that's what's going to imprint and uh, stamp into your Play-Doh. All right, so let's flatten out our Play-Doh and try it out. All right, so as you can see here, I have flattened out my Play-Doh. So let's go ahead and put our paper roll with the hot glue on it into our Play-Doh and see what happens. <laughs> oh, that's so fun. Got the smiley face there. You can see the KCDC. I need to press down just a little bit harder so you can see everything. So I'm just going to smush these designs down so they kind of disappear so I can try again. Really press down there. Oh, that's so fun. All right, awesome. So these are super fun. You can see all my little imprinted designs there. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and take this paper roll that we didn't use and kind of bend it. So I can kind of bend, I can cut it if I want to, but I just kind of want to see what I can come up with. So this kind of looks like a leaf. This was actually from another project and I kind of just wanted to see what it would look like in here. So I can kind of press that down. And you could really press it down and you could just kind of like cut it out of there. So see that? It kind of takes it right out. So if I wanted to make a leaf, or maybe an eye or a fish maybe with this, I could do that. And then I could cut out the rest of the parts that I want. Or, you know, I can take my scissors here, cut a piece of this. and then kind of warp it how I want. So maybe I can make like a heart with this. So I'll kind of put my heart in here, really press that down, and I can cut out my heart. So there's my, there's my heart there. So you can have a lot of fun with paper rolls and your Play-Doh. 
All right, friends, so I hope you all have fun creating designs in your Play-Doh with paper rolls. Thank you so much for watching this activity today, and I will see you all later. Bye.